Hi guys and welcome to this Bootstrap 4 tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we've been building this nice little site here. We built this slider and this nav bar up here and we've made sure they're fully responsive. What we're going to do today is you quite often see this on sites that have a nice big slider or carousel in the hero section here. Let's make our nav bar transparent. Pull this up so it's behind it. And that'll involve just changing some of these colors around so they stand out a bit better. But we'll still keep this set up for all of the interior pages. But for this first slider page, we'll have a transparent background. Push this up so this is all on top of our slider here. Pretty easy to do. Just involves a bit of CSS, but it's a nice little option. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to want to do is make this section transparent. Now let's look at our custom CSS here. Well, let's look at our index.html. We built this site, we created a folder, we created an index.html file, which is basically the website page file we're looking at, and a custom CSS file for putting our styles in. We're on the index right now. And let's have a look, see. Here is our nav bar. And we gave it a name or a class of my nav. Let's, we want, we will use that later on. Let's change that to something else. Let's just change that to TRN for transparent. And we'll use the my nav on the interior ones which will give us that white background okay so we've given it a class of trn now what do we want our trn to do so i'm going to hit control s to save it let's go back to our let's go back to our custom css here and in our navbar section right here Let's put a new class up here. In fact, I'm going to copy this one and just change a couple of things. Control C to copy, drop down a couple. Control V to space. Control V to paste. It doesn't matter which one I change here. I'm going to change the uh, top one. And we called it TRN for short for transparent. Let's write transparent there instead of the white. And then control S to save. And we're going to want to make copies of my nav, a, a hover, and active we may have to change. Let's just see what we've got so far. It should have pretty much dramatically changed the site. Refresh this site. This should now be transparent. These links may have changed because we've changed that class. So there we go. Yeah, that's changed like that's fine. We can just redo that. Why we got a blue background now? It's because it's actually the body background color is blue. We did this for a demonstration earlier on. Probably not going to keep that. But that's the blue background. Now what we need to do is take this section and push it up. So if we inspect this. Let's have a look, see where this. Here's the actual section itself. So we want to just push that up. It's bd-example is the class name. We'll say margin, top, give it a negative value. Let's try 90 pixels and see how far that gets it. That's almost there. I want a bit more. So select the value here. And you can just roll up and down with your mouse wheel and put it where you want it. Got a slight bit of blue pe peeking out the top there, so let's just go up slightly. There we go. So 100 picks looks just right. So we just need to make that new class. Control C to copy this value here. We need to add this class of BD-example. 
and add this CSS to our custom style sheet. So let's put it in our slider section because it's our actual slider section that we're affecting here. We're pulling it up and it was BD dash example, I believe. And then that's the class. And what do we want it to do? Well, we'll just paste in that bit of code we copied margin top minus 100. OK, control S to say if I go back and refresh. That should stay exactly the same. There we go. And I'm sure you've noticed if I just pull this down, we've lost our logo and our menu items. It's because this section is on top of them and it's hiding them. So we need to bring that nav bar to the front. So if I select it, we can do that using what they call a Z index, which is the stacking order of things. So it's Z dash index. And if we give it a pretty high number, like 999, it should pull it forward. There we go. 99 does it. That's fine. We'll just leave it at that. So under our TRN, we want to give it this Z index of 99 to make sure it pulls it forward over the top of our slider here. Control S to save or Control C to copy. Let's go back to our custom CSS. And again, this is the nav bar section, so I'm going to put it up here. And it's under the TRN section, which is that new name we gave our nav bar then. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll just show you first. I've saved that. We should refresh. That should stay there. Let's just get rid of that and refresh. Yep, everything's pretty much as it should be, apart from our links and stuff up here a bit weird. So let's fix that. We're going to want to change the color because that blue is not going to stay stay true. But we won't want to keep what we had because we're going to use that on the interior pages. Or at least I am. You, you can do what you want. Okay, so we need to fix these, which if I inspect those, we gave those a name. It was the A link and it was under... our previous name there so we need to change that to trn dot a so what we'll go to is we'll go to our custom css there's the my nav a we took that my nav class away so we want that one and this one we will have to do something with that one but we'll deal with that in a moment so i'm going to take these two which were our old values of the class we took away drop down and I'm gonna give them our new one new class name before the anchor tag there which is TRN wasn't it for transparent yet yeah, there it is right there so it's TRN a and TRN a hover now those colors we're gonna to want to change here to white which is FFF and the hover color border bottom we want to change that to the white color as well so it stands out on that slider rather than that blue color we had in there because if we hover over this it'll show you the blue color we want to change it to that white color so let's save that control s go back to the site now when I refresh these links should be turn turn white and go back to how they were with the spacing that's great the spacing's there the white colors there our hover effect is there but we still got that blue line under what is the active element right there which is the page we're on i don't know if you can see it very well but there is a blue line there we want to change that to white for active but we want we're going to want to keep it as blue when it's on all the other pages so we don't want to destroy the CSS we've got for that so what we'll do if we look down here it's this one and you see the class of active which is dictating that blue line because that's what we put in let's just change this name on this page I'm gonna put an H in front of it so home active active and we can change that color to white so let's go to our CSS 
and we're still going to be able to to keep that active class for the other pages there it is active a right there let's just copy this and paste it underneath and I guess I'll change the top one because we've got those just above it simply gonna put an H in front of it you can do what you want call it what you want as long as it's slightly different from that class there now we want to tell it to be white instead of that blue color FFF of course it's six F's but CSS three if they're all the same you just need to put three so save that control s now let's get to that active class on our menu here nav item active so we'll call it h active active whatever now it should turn it to white but we'll still be able to use that just regular active class on the other pages control s to save now when i refresh there we go that line's now turned white which is exactly what we want let's get this out of the way again okay so we're pretty much there those are all working the active is working our links here i do not like that box shadow we got over there and i do not like that white line that's going on there border i guess it is when we hover and that red color is not the same as our red color here because I think I just put it in randomly. So let's change the ho hover color on these buttons to the correct red color. And also let's get it rid of this box shadow because it doesn't look particularly good on here. And also the white line on hover. So let's go back and take a look at what we've got here those buttons those buttons were if we go back up to the nav section they were this lot that on the margin right so I'm going to take off that box shadow I'm just going to get rid of it and there's the hover state the red there so I want to change that for the correct red that we've got down here on our buttons. Here's the buttons. Is that the red? There's the red. So I'm going to copy that. And on that hover also when it goes red. right here that red is what we want to replace on the hover state I want absolutely no border so I'm just going to copy this border bottom and we'll make it in fact let's copy that whole thing and I'll just make it transparent so the real estate real estate is still there uh, so we want it on the hover state Make sure this is going to work. I'm going to just write transparent in there. Let's save that. Control S, see what we've got. Refresh. There we go. That box shadow's gone, and also that white border has gone. And we've now got the correct red color, the same red color we're using everywhere else. So there you have it. There's how to make it a sort of transparent nav bar. It looks to me like we still got a bit of blue up there let's just correct that that does kind of surprise me I thought we got rid of all that let's have a look at our it's going to be our uh, slider section there it is BD example right there so minus 100 is not quite doing it so select it and roll it up again with our mouse wheel one two oh, it's almost gone three is definitely gone so we just need to change that to 103 
one zero three I should say that was in our slider section right here so there it is 103 control s to save and refresh make sure it's going to stay there yep yeah, that's absolutely fine no little blue line up there anymore so there's how to make your navbar have a transparent background over the top of your slider your slider is still going to work fine here but you'll be able to see your menu over the top and your logo and when we build the other pages we've still got all the other classes we'll change it back to white with blue links for for the interior pages so i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful uh, the little bit of css code that we've written here i'll put below the video if you have enjoyed it and found it useful please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our youtube subscribers so do check it out once again this has been jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtactics.com thanks for watching have a great day